Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gaming here. Just bringing you some breaking news. Now this has kind of caught me a little bit off guard. I wasn't expecting to hear anything Volta related in 2017 or at least the end of it. Nvidia have just dropped their Titan V. And I would imagine the V stands for Volta or possibly five in the Roman numeral, but I would imagine it's V for Volta. 5,120 CUDA cores, 12 gigabytes of HBM2, all at a staggering 3,000 US, and that's some crazy money. But this is being aimed at the prosumer market, so I guess this justifies things, but we all know the guys with the cash will definitely be buying this for gaming. All I can say is, wow, to the specs. I mean, this, this thing is absolutely insane. 21 0.1 billion transistors with over 110 teraflops of raw horsepower nine times that of its predecessor apparently an extremely energy efficient still working in between the 250 watt um, power limit which is just incredible um, I don't really know what to say they've kept the same reference caller but just given it a lick of gold paint so I guess it looks more stand out than all the rest um, not too sure how this thing is going to perform I'm very very eager to see the benchmarks let's talk a little bit about the specs so they're coming in at a 1200 megahertz base clock and a boost frequency of 1455 megahertz boost all under the 250 watt package it's probably going to require an 8 and a 6 pin not imagine this is only going to be sold by Nvidia just like the Titan XP crazy stuff man 12 gigabytes of HBM2 so the first HBM um, and video graphics card I want to see how well they implement HBM if they can do it to great effect but 15 teraflops of compute performance pretty much dwarfing the 12.1 of the Titan XP so oh, there's no doubt in my mind this thing will be able to run every single game at 4k generally at 60 frames per second I'd imagine 652.8 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. That is just absolutely staggering. And it's all for cool three grand. Now, I would love one for the sake of science, of course, but let's just be honest. We can look forward to probably, I don't know what they're going to call it, 2080 Ti variant of this. Um, so, and there's also talk of Ampere, this new um, kind of architecture that NVIDIA will be coming out. So I'm really not sure what's going on. They've released the Volta now, and there's talk of Ampere being a new architecture. So no one really knows what's going on at this point. I can only imagine that Volta has been, NVIDIA has been sitting on Volta for a little while. Wait for the AMD to make their move. Obviously wasn't too threatened by the RX Vega and uh, the Vega architecture, and now they've been competing with itself pretty much now they've gone ahead and just released a bombshell on us really i just wanted to kind of show you guys um the news if you haven't heard it i mean this kind of took me um off guard really didn't know this was going to be released not really concerning me anyway i haven't got three grand to spend on the graphics card and it would be wrong to do so anyway because um it's just a ridiculous amount of money but 5120 cuda cores 12 gigabytes of hbm2 awesome stuff let me go let me know what you think in the comment section below um is it too much even for a prosumer card because nvidia know full well that this is going to appeal to the rich gamers as well anyway guys hopefully you've enjoyed the video and as always thanks for watching Showing love Say what's up when I'm around They were saying it was love But we see them in the crowd now We're too young to give a fuck All we know is that for now I said what's up, what's up